G'day guys, Scotty from Oxytech. Uh, just um, doing a bit of Saturday Arvo R&D on some of our finishes. Uh, just uh, got a fire pit from Killer Customs that we've uh, powder coated up in some of our muffler coating. So it's gonna be quite interesting to see how it goes uh, with flame right up against it. As you can see from here, here's our beautiful fire pit. We've um, finishes off quite nicely in a bit of muffler titanium uh, and muffler black on a lot of it, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous finish. So what we're gonna do, we've got our essentials. We have our fire pit, have our kindling and matches, as well as some logs to throw on as well. And it is Saturday Arvo, so <sighs> this should certainly help us get us through the night. So one can down, the uh, fire's looking good, the paintwork's still holding up quite nice. There's some pretty good embers there. Uh, once this fire gets, fire gets a bit more heat into it, uh, it should look pretty good, I reckon. So three cans in. We're getting a fair bit of heat out of this fire now. The uh, bottom plate is actually starting to warp under the temp. But so far, the coating is looking delightful. Look at that. Fantastic. So, we'll see after a few more cans how we're travelling. So we're now four cans in. The fire is looking lovely now. Beautiful and warm. Oh, just gorgeous now. But look at this. Look at the glow that we're getting in there now. Look at that. There's some real heat really happening in there now. So this is where it's really starting to put the powder to the test. So I can't wait for tomorrow when we can actually clean this out and actually see if there's any damage to the powder because there is some heat coming off that right now. It is baking hot. Right, we're now five cans in. The fire is absolutely cooking now, but we've got plenty of hot embers in there now. It's getting smoking hot, but you can feel the heat on your hand just trying to get video of this now. It's beautiful. It's taking up the whole fire pit now, so it's going to be a really good test of uh, of how well the uh, high temp powder is actually going to hold up the muffler coatings. But look at that! Like, isn't that just gorgeous? You guys need to get on to Killer Customs to really get some of these fire pits. Get them made in your company names, but fantastic. And then, request to get them coated in OxyTech powders. Righto, seven cans in. The fire's absolutely blazing now. The embers are stinking hot. And as you can hear, it's just started raining. So I think that will be us for the night, as it's gonna put this fire out pretty quick. Tomorrow, we'll wash it off and we'll go and see what the powder coating's like. Well, it's now the next day. Uh, research went well into the night. Uh, so I really need to speak to the boss about some uh, overtime for this work. So it's time to clean out the fire pit and see how it went. As you can see, we gave it a good hit last night. So uh, plenty of ash. Not much of the timber left over, except for a couple of those biggies there. Let's shovel it all out, we'll give it a wash out, and let's see what that actual base looks like after, you know, copping, you know, a thousand degrees worth of heat there. Alright, so we've washed most of the ash out now. Take the excess out. That's looking pretty good. Let's have a look at that. It's, um, left a little bit of discolouring in there bit of the walls but I mean these campfires can uh, they can run at degrees of a thousand degrees Celsius so they get quite hot I mean we've got the powder rate at 650 degrees but this has held up really well there's no bubbling no blistering hasn't lifted off in anywhere it's um it's really done its job well really protected the metal so I can't complain that was um that was some pretty good research for the night uh, thanks for watching. See ya.